Hey guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the collective of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Um, the reading's not date or time specific, so whenever you come upon it, if it speaks to you, it could be your message at that time. Um, welcome cross watchers and for those of you who are brand new to the channel happy to have you here do keep in mind it's a general reading not a private reading so it may not resonate for everyone um, always best to just take what speaks to you leave the rest i do offer private readings there's a link in the description box below that will take you to that information okay i'm going to pull from cosmic journey oracle to activate the reading and it says card number eight which i love coming soon welcome to the next ascending age yes it's an ascending age um very much speaking of the age of aquarius that we've been singing about since the 1970s but is finally arriving um but it does feel like we're on an ascension path as i record this venus and pluto hooked up this morning in a nice lovely geometry so there are you know there's what and how we love meeting with opportunities for transformation um, and intensity even some of you may have very intense breakthroughs um, pluto is known as the great destroyer but also the great transformer so anything can happen there and um, we also have the Jupiter's move into Gemini uh, today. So it's just this beautiful energy that feels very uplifting. And I hope you're feeling that as well. And um, we're past that full moon, like I said. So yeah, there's a lot of positive energy in the cosmos right now. Uh, what I'm going to do is pull the... Twin Flame Soulmate Spread, I'll give you my general impressions. We'll get the details from the clarifiers. Here we go, Libra. What do we got? Wow. So on this journey together, we're looking at the long haul. We're looking at either life partnership or the future of this connection. Oh my goodness. So that's the theme. Oh, wow. But I like what I'm seeing here. Okay, so where you are in, in your sense of this connection is maybe there are just some things that you kind of need to unburden yourself of. Um, feels like it, it's coming as a relief. And this may be very recent. There's just something that has been weighing on you for a long time. And, you know, when we see the nine of wands, it's that final push. It's like where we feel there's nothing left in the tank. We can't go another step forward. But then we just give it a little bit more. And then it's like, oh, okay, I made it through. So there is a relief here, but it's the culmination of a lot of difficult energy um, and possibly even some negative karma. And your person is... Uh, kind of pushing through some fears, maybe some apprehensions or insecurities that have been triggering them. And I'll get to that in a moment. Your karmic challenge has is about like the equal give and take of it all, right? Because in the Six of Pentacles, it's about generosity, being able to give as well as you receive. And it's possible that you may have been feeling for quite some time that this connection has been one-sided, so now that's why there's an emphasis on what does the future hold for us? And your person is operating from, uh, from more fears. They're letting fear get in the way because their karmic challenge is believing that they can have it all, right? Believing in happily ever after as a construct. Um, so that is definitely a challenge. And it makes sense that you would have something feeling more one-sided if you're dealing with somebody that doesn't believe there's a payoff. So um, the opportunity here is um, hanged man energy is about sort of pumping the brakes, pushing pause, and taking the 30,000 foot view, seeing the bigger picture. Um, and, and the reason why we do this is because we wanna be sure that we're seeing it from all angles, that we're not just looking at the situation through our own filter, but through the eyes of others as well. I love this card because it sort of says, you know, there's, if things have hit some form of stagnation or you feel like nothing's moving forward, there's a reason for that. 
it's it's guidance so that you can get the enlightenment the oh now i see it now i get it because sometimes when we're go 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 and we're moving things along we miss a lot of the details so the hanged man is an opportunity see it as such and your message from spirit the divine guidance is you know saturn is here to teach us lessons the world is associated with the planet saturn the great teacher yeah um lord of karma yeah and sometimes we learn lessons over and over the hard way what i like about the world card in this position is it's saying you're wrapping up this difficult cycle you're closing out a difficult cycle and what comes after that the new beginning so it does feel like you're pushing through to some form of completion or culmination we have two we have three tens here um what are we missing well okay so we're missing the ten of swords so we're basically seeing this as um relatively pain-free right now meaning there is stress and there might be tension and there might be um some question as to where things are headed for you and feelings of something isn't coming back my way um and so i don't know where things stand being given the opportunity to see it from a safe vantage point um, and then being set free of the difficulty and closing out that cycle. So that's a nice message for you overall. Let's jump in with some clarifiers. Like when I look at this spread, I feel this looks like normal growing pains normal growing pains likely in a younger relationship meaning one that um maybe hasn't been in existence too too long but that it looks like there's potential for the future so you sort of want to make sure that you understand where things are um ten of pentacles yes You're worried. They're, you're both f f riddled with anxiety. There you are. Thinking about the future probably makes this person nuts. Um, you know, it probably, you know, gives them that fight or flight response. And for you, it's sleepless nights. And, and this is your, you're reaching that point where uh, decisions and choices will be made. Twos are always about choices. Um, and decisions and it feels like you know if you choose the connection and it lives to see another day there's definitely a path to the future to something more long term so no sense carrying this albatross around your neck i feel like you're some relief from all the worry and anxiety is coming toward you let's see the ten of wands for you Page of Swords, there's the Nine of Wands and the Six of Pentacles, right? You're, that's exactly what I said. Like, what's going on? The Page of Swords, the Spire Detective of the Tarot, looking for clues. What's the dealio? I don't know. Should I just, just toss it aside or should I continue to push through? That Nine of Wands is the stress, is the exhaustion, is, you know, feeling kind of battered and broken as you move forward and the ten of wands is just unburden yourself it is um releasing a lot of that built up exhaustion tension worry um and since it's now out twice and the six of pentacles is here twice there's a lot of confirmation for you that it's time to um to offload it um, and all I mean by that is not offload the connection, but the worry about the connection. So let's see the moon, which is also a form of worry for your person. Two of swords, two of wands, six of wands, choices, choices, choices everywhere I look. Um, This person is reaching a point 
where they know they have an important decision to make and it's about the path forward. What do they want? And maybe they're just scared they're gonna make the wrong decision. Maybe they don't really know what they want. Maybe they're worried that you don't want what they want. Um, but it, it's coming to a moment where they gotta do something. And it feels like they're considering, how can I meet this person in the middle? This is a victory card, but it comes from compromise and negotiation and finding that middle ground where you can both kind of live with the terms. So that's how you get the victory in this situation. And that's what's on the back of this person's mind or rolling around in their unconscious awareness. Um, but they're, they're scared to make the wrong decision, I think, but they know one has to be made. Uh, let's see the six of pentacles for your karmic challenge. The world again, strength, right? The understanding that these, that this is growing pains and that these cycles, um, can be overcome. I do feel you have some... Focus on long-term partnership, life partnership, perhaps. And so that's rolling, like that becomes um, like a motivating factor. And if you're not really acknowledging it way up front, then it, you can feel like you're, you know, getting the short end of the stick here. Like you're not getting what you're giving. Um, but this karmic challenge is letting you know it's part of your lesson. This is, <laughs> I don't know how many times I have to say, that the karmic challenge is almost always represented by Saturn teaching us lessons and then Saturn keeps showing up in this reading to say, yeah, you gotta overcome this. So perhaps um, less, less worry, less, um, less concern or um, preoccupation with, with what the future holds because it could be that this person is several steps behind you and they just got to catch up. Sometimes it's that easy. Now, in this person's case, their karmic challenge is about the 10 of cups. Right. They stall. Whenever things get too close, you know, you're getting close, things are getting deep, the bond is growing stronger, we're talking about our happily ever after, they start to stall for time. And it does feel like they get stuck, second guessing, questioning themselves, their decision making ability. Um, we have all the twos here on the table, albeit in um, clarifiers, but they get, they, get, they get caught in the weeds of their own thoughts. And their thoughts keep telling them, oh, yeah, I don't know. Is this what I want? I can't decide. Even the lover's card is a card of choice. So it feels to me like this person first has to kind of believe and trust that they can have a happy, loving, long-term relationship. And that the path to that is through compromise and negotiation. And when I say negotiation, all I mean is like, Negotiating the pace, right? How fast are things going to move? How soon do you want this? You know, we, I, I, I'm, I definitely have feelings for you, but I move slower or I, I'm still struggling with something I've already been through. I, I'm just throwing it against the wall for you to consider because it's going to be something different for each one of you. Um, but I'm, I'm definitely feeling like this person, the minute things get close to something more long term, um, talking about, you know, how happy would, you know, we can be and somebody looking for them to kind of step up and be more committed, they kind of go into juggling mode. Like, what do I do? I don't know. Um, and they don't trust themselves. So let's look at the hanged man as the opportunity. Hanged man again. Four of cups. Queen of Wands. With the Four of Cups here, it's just about disillusionment. 
the hanged man is Neptune. Neptune is the great spirit, but also the fog machine. And it feels like, you know, that's why you got to kind of pull back a bit and spend a little time evaluating and assessing what's really happening here. Because you may be feeling like you're getting cheated out of something or, or things aren't, you know, even or they're very one sided. And so you get disillusioned and disappointed. And then what happens? Queen of Wands, you start to feeling start feeling disempowered. Um, and so I'm seeing this powerful double message of the hanged man as super important for your own enlightenment, for your own sense of, oh, okay, maybe I need to look at this from with a new set of eyes, okay? Um, and try to see something I haven't seen before. And it feels to me like that would help you break through these feelings of, um, disappointment, unhappiness, emotional distance, rejection, whatever it is that that Four of Cups represents for you um, so that you can reclaim some of your power. I feel you've, you're losing a lot of it here, right? This is very draining, very draining. And, you know, it's all about the give and take for you and you're not feeling that you're getting back what you're putting out and you're kind of not sure why. And so where you are right now is you just need to let that shit go. Uh, I mean, pardon my potty mouth today. I'm cursing like a sailor. But the point is, is that take the time now to sort of take in the full view. Make sure you're seeing it from all angles and not just from your own um, subjective experience. The world card for the divine guidance. You can work through the conflicts. You can work through the tension. You can work through disagreeable energy. Whatever the five of wands is for you, it can be an outside source of interference, but it feels to me like you're being given this gift of inspired passion that's saying, yeah, you've learned a lot. And if you want to bring this situation, this cycle where things just don't feel um, like you're moving in sync with each other, right? You can bring it to a close through working through it, staying focused, dedicated, determined, paying attention to the details. And it's divine guidance for the connection for both of you so that you take a little pressure off yourselves and know that you can work through any conflict um, and get past it, get beyond it, bring it to a close. Oof, Libra, my goodness. So, um, I do feel like you're both, you both have something here where this person has decisions to make and you don't really have a dog in that fight. It's not something you can do for them. They have to do it for themselves. So you're being gifted this time to sort of get the reframe on it um, and then reclaim your power so that when you move forward to resolve any disagreements by forging that you know path to a win-win outcome and to meeting in the middle or you know negotiating as i said it, it gets easier it's like it, it lights you up a bit um so that's what i'm seeing here for you libra if this is resonating for you, I am going to go to an extended. But before that, I want to tell you the astrology that showed up here. I like to do that um, for those of you who are interested. It's just extra added confirmation. Um, but before I do that, if the readings are helpful, please help me get my message out to more people by subscribing below. That's kind of how it works on this platform. Um, more views, more subscribers, bring more views, and then YouTube puts me in front of more people. So that's my ask. Okay. Um, the links to the extended are below. There's a one-time purchase just for this one, if that's all you're interested in. But the one that says Libra Monthly is a really great offer. Um, and it's kind of been fun to see people enjoy all the extra readings that they get. Uh, but that is a monthly renewal, so check that out. Here we go. We have um, Page of Swords is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The Moon is Pisces, and 
Where are we over here? The world, as I said, is Saturn, Aquarius, and Capricorn. Leo in the Strength card. Capricorn in the Queen of Pentacles. Over here, we have the Lovers as Gemini. We are in Gemini season, so that feels um, perfect. We have the Hanged Man twice. Neptune, which rules Pisces. Aries in the Queen of Wands. And that's really it. That's what I have for you, Libra. I'm headed to the extended now. I'll see you there in a second. Bye.